I'm going to introduce you to what is no doubt one of your favourite environments. A one-on-one -on -one in a five metre channel. Not a favourite environment. This so, is, no, this is uncomfortable. Tackling is one of the prerequisites in any form of rugby. Yeah, yeah. Straight on, fine. Around the sides, not so fine. One of the most important elements in any form of rugby is the defence. DHL Impact Player Awards look specifically how defence can be a massive part of a performance through tackling. We expose Flats to an environment he's probably more than used to. Short space, not a lot of movement, how he copes with a one-on-one -on -one environment. On the back of that perceived success, gave him a few tips to see how he could go about defending with a little bit of Seven's insight, using your body to be able to position defenders and attackers to where you want them to be rather than where they want you to be. You're looking at what's happening and controlling players rather than making the big hits. Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we're not playing touch flats. <laughs> That's it. Constantly That's moving it. forwards. Oh, no. again. Not ever still. Always moving forwards. Okay. If Matt wants to go in, that's fine. I can control it. I control it. And you move your feet quickly. Still going forwards, Flats. Take their space. You've stopped again. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's the one we want. Hey, it's, not very, it's not very tight when you don't actually move. The kick-out drill is a different way of looking at how you can manipulate space on the sevens pitch. We've already seen Flats in a close, tight environment. Putting them into an environment more seen in sevens with plenty of space either side can be a little bit scary. So we wanted to see how he would cope incorporating the space, using his footwork, power and strength that he's developed over the last six weeks in a very active sense. This is slightly more akin to the world of sevens. Yeah, terrifying. Terrifying. A lot of space. You're going to be the agrophobic sweeper. Yeah. The man scared of space. Yeah. Same principles. You control where they go. OK, a okay. little Show bit me. of an example. Show me. Kick the ball to Matt, take the ball out straight away. I'm letting him know where he's going to go. And then it's about monitoring it, keeping up with him. We'll take a two-hand touch on this just to try and show that you can still control this environment. If you stay flat in the middle, you've got no chance. Yeah, okay. You control it. We'll see how we go. See, I reckon the key is to make the kick a bit more difficult as well. Don't you? Give yourself a little head start. Get your 50p foot out then. Let's see it. Here we go. Get hold of that, mate. Oh, that's quite easy. Oh, he's, oh, he's nervous! You're intimidating him. He's nervous! Keep going forward. Oh, oh. Set off his left. You stop going forwards. I thought he had him there, Vix. Until he started running. You put it to a foot race. If you end up level with him, of yeah. course he's going to run faster than you. Yeah. What you've got to do is keep moving forward and you dictate where he's going to go. OK. So don't get aligned with him and then start tracking. Yeah. Shut him down. Get close enough with your feet to make the hit before he decides to run. OK. In combining the last three elements from the DHL Impact Player Award, we're going to look at line breaks, carries and offloads. Now, for this, we wanted to put Flats in a very dynamic situation, using his increased power and strength for the last six weeks and really flying into the tackle shields, avoiding taking the contact and not accepting the hits, riding through the collisions and getting the balls free for the offload, which he did really, really well. Uh, I think the, the carries, I like carrying the ball, um, but the coaches tend to not like me carrying the ball, so they ask me not to do that. Sometimes there was no one else, so I had to do it. Um, in terms of offloads, I would estimate between 5 and 10 in 15 years. Um, and line breaks, very few. Um, I once made a 50 metre break against Pontypridd on a Friday night because two defenders fell over in the mud. Um, but I panicked and dropped the ball at the end of it. And um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, not natural. Not natural. Find the space, Fats. Use your feet. Yeah. Plenty of feet. Ready, lads? Yeah. Here comes the... Here, come, here comes the... Rain, rain or pain. Hey. Don't rain. Know. Move him around, flats, that's it, through, 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 yeah, on your right, on your right, yeah. How would he get on not accepting the tackle? Keep him moving forward and winning the collisions with an offload either side. Got nice, it. got it out. There we go, it took him 15 years to get two of those and he's that's still it. straight I've, away. Yeah, I've increased my tally by 50% already. That's good. you just got to get in your mind that you're going to enjoy the rest days, but when you're not resting, you're going to be working hard, working on your fitness, working on your aggressive leanness, yeah? Can you see the results? Maybe, maybe. Vix, they're just asking me how to become an elite athlete. They said, how do we get more like you? <laughs> so keep it up. Yeah, you both look great. And considering you're both 12, you both look very mature, OK? <laughs> so we've gave a little bit of insight the last six weeks, looking at how to improve your endurance, your speed, your power and your strength. You follow those simple steps, you'll get better at rugby. You'll become a little bit healthier, and hopefully with that, 
look a little bit more like flats. Astonishing results, guys. Yeah, all part of the journey. If you guys at home want to keep watching the journey, you can do just that. You two are watching it and following it, aren't you? You both look in fantastic shape, yeah? Great skin, very clear complexion. You can follow that on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and all that stuff. DHL Rugby, enjoy.